So one of the problems I had when I was switching from BRZ Edit to the new Ecutech Race ROM uh, user tunable version uh, was that I, you know, I had relied on using my Innovate LC1 wideband sensor. And one of the cool things about BRZ Edit's logger is that it gives you the option to log lots of external sensors, uh, you know, with the rest of the information that it's getting over the can line. Uh, Ecutech, I guess they did have this at one point or something, but for whatever reason it doesn't work right now. You have to take a different approach uh, to logging the, uh, the Innovate. So I want to take a second to show you how I did that. For Ecutech, we need to use uh, the CPC sensor voltage input on the ECU uh, the same way that you would for an ethanol content sensor in an E85 setup and then a custom map to uh, scale or translate that result. So you can see here that we, do, we have the custom map with an x-axis uh, defined 0 to 5 volts, just interpolated. And then, you know, similar to the other map that I showed you, this uh, uh, the y-axis is actually unused. It's basically just a two-dimensional map uh, interpolated across the x-axis. And these values, if you were to view more significant digits. You'd see it's 22.39, 7.35, and it's just interpolated in between. Same with the voltage, and that's the normal Innovate scaling. Uh, that's the default scaling for the second analog output on an LC1, which is the brown wire. If you want to use the, the yellow wire, or you accidentally hook it up the way I did, you uh, can plug in with the serial cable or a serial to USB converter and reprogram you know, the output to scale however you want it to. Uh, but in my case I just went ahead with the stock scaling they give you which is a linear 0 to 5 volt. For the activation you can see that it's just always active and then for the output definition it's a calculation only. For the X input definition you'd use CPC pressure sensor voltage and for the Y input, it's unused. The next thing you'll need to do is go in here to the uh, DTC limits maps and go to the ca carbon purge canister sensor voltage max and min. And these will be different values. You'll need to set them to 0 and 5. Or at least I've found that 0 and 5 <clears throat> don't, resort, don't result in any sort of check engine light. So that seems to work. Then the last thing that you need to do is just log the result of the custom map that you put the scaling in. And if you open the last log here, you'll see that uh, I check custom map L result is that. And maybe if I do like throttle position, you can see here that is 11.6. So seems to work pretty well and it's a little bit more difficult than using it just through USB with like BRZ edit or something but uh, the benefit here of course is that you can then turn around and use that same input uh, for if you wanted to make a custom map that would you know show you a check engine light whenever the boost went above a certain level for a given AFR or something like that so it's really cool what you can do with it. 